Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. It's your boy High Five Vega, and today I'm here to talk about the top five subwoofers you can get for under $300. As always, I'm queued up and ready to go. We're gonna talk about the features, how much each driver costs, count them down from number five to number one, and maybe if you stick around after the credits, I'll throw in an honorable mention, as I often do. I don't wanna waste any more of your time. Let's jump straight into my number five pick. Number five. My number five pick is the Kicker L7S12. It comes in at $299. It is rated 750 watts RMS. It has a cast aluminum basket, a reinforced cone, and it has 16.3 millimeters of one-way X-Max. The X-Max on this is a little lower than some of the other subs we have on the list, but it makes up for it with the expanded cone area of the square sub, and that's kind of their whole thing, the square sub makes up the difference and you kind of gain back what you lose in X-Max with this sub. That being said, you guys know that Kicker is out there torture testing all these subs. It is certainly gonna handle that 750 watts, no problem whatsoever. And honestly, it's gonna handle much more than that. It's backed by some of the best dudes in car audio. They're gonna take care of you. And that's why I have no problem having this as my number five pick. Number four. Coming in at my number four pick is the Sundown SA15 version one revision three. That's a lot of words, but it comes in at $259. It handles 750 watts RMS. It has a two and a half inch voice coil, stitched tinsel leads, a cast aluminum basket, and it has 19 millimeters of one-way X-Max. You guys know that the Sundown SA sub is kind of a benchmark sub to me. It is good at everything. It sounds good, it gets loud, and it is reasonably priced to get it under that $300 mark. I did have to pick the older version, but they make a newer version that handles 1000 watts RMS. And if you guys have played with these subs, you know that they're definitely gonna handle the RMS rating plus some, and that's why this gets the number four spot. Number three. For my number four pick, I'm going with the AudioPipe TXX BCD 415. It comes in at $247. It handles 1400 watts RMS. It has the biggest voice coil in the top five list at 3.3 inches. It has a cast aluminum basket, a 250 ounce motor, and a crazy high 90 dB sensitivity. For a sub of this type, that is great sensitivity in my opinion. I couldn't find the TS parameter on the website or anywhere else so I'm not certain how much X Max this sub has but I can tell you this does have pretty good excursion I'll put a link in the description below where Parker test out the TXX BCD 12 inch or 10 inch I believe and you can see what this sub is actually capable of and at $247 this might be the best bang for the buck sub on this list number two my number two pick is the SCAR VXF15. It is $280. It handles 1500 watts RMS, the highest on the list so far. It has a three inch voice cool, 300 ounce motor, sewn tinsel leads, and a massive 30 millimeter one-way X-Max. This is the beefiest sub we've seen on this list so far and this thing is meant to bang. It is not playing around with you. Now, you can switch this subwoofer out with the number one pick. They are very similar, a lot of the same specs. They are very close in price. The only thing putting the number one subwoofer ahead, in my opinion, is just my personal experience with that sub versus this sub. I think it sounds a little bit better, and I like the customer service on the next company better. So. With that being said, let's get to my number one pick. A big three upgrade is the best way to start upgrading your electrical. And if you're in need of a kit, I got you. Go to hifivega.com. I have several different stages of kits. I know I've got one to fit what you're looking for. When you're going to upgrade, you need that big three kit. Go to hifivega.com. It's car audio for enthusiasts by an enthusiast. Number one. The number one pick is the Savard Hi-Q 15. 
You guys know how much I love these high Q subs. It comes in at $293. It also handles 1500 watts RMS, has a three inch quad layered voice cool, sewn tinsel leads, a cast aluminum basket, and it also has 30 millimeters one way X Max. That's a lot of flex for a sub under $300. And let me tell you something, them boys down in Louisiana, they sell a damn fine subwoofer. If you haven't heard these, you need to hear one. They are super impressive for the price, and these guys are willing to take care of you no matter what issues you have. Will and Lucas are my guys, so have no fear. If you're looking to buy this sub, you will not be disappointed. This is an A-plus sub, and uh, that's why it got the number one pick. That is my top five subwoofers under $300. Obviously, a top five list does not cover them all. Let me know your personal picks in the comments below. And if you want, go ahead and list them from five to one. I wanna know what your personal top five is. That being said, if you like this kind of content and you're not subscribed, you know, why not subscribe, hit the bell. I'm kind of funny sometimes. And uh, for those of you that are subscribed, I appreciate you watching, liking, sharing, and commenting below. And I hope to see every single one of you, even the people that aren't subscribed, in the next video. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to the six star or more members, 2001 Monolithic, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solution, Jesus Tires, Orion the Great, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, Aaron Waltz, David Koslick, Scott McCord, and Matthew Tolberg. For as little $2 a month, you can join the team and help me reach my goal of $200 a month so I can do an exclusive Patreon-only monthly podcast for every tier from $2 all the way up. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to my pitch. And if you want to support, check me out at patreon.com slash high5vega. All the real OGs know to stick around after the top five video credits so you can get that honorable mention. And today's honorable mention is the Hutchinson Audio ETA 8. It comes in at $360 at the time of this video, which is September of 2021. Obviously, I'll put an affiliate link in the description below if you want to pick this sub up. But let's talk about some of the features first. It handles 750 watts RMS. It has a huge two and a half inch voice coil for an eight inch driver. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. It also has four gauge speaker terminals. It has a 10 pillar Neo Mag, which just, this thing is like car audio jewelry. Just look at it. Look at this thing for me. It is immaculate, it is beautiful. It's 100% art in my eyes. It also has 23 millimeters of X Max. This is a beast of an eight, and if you can pony up the extra $60 to just get one of them, I think you'll be happy. If you had a pair of these things, I mean, if I had a pair of these things, nobody couldn't tell me nothing, because these things are absolutely beautiful, and that's why they get my honorable mention in this top five subwoofers under 300 video.